Good morning, everyone. Well, this morning, I thought I'd show you my messy desk and a little bit of my creative process. I usually, in the morning, start out with my Bible study in the morning room. And this morning, I just woke up and I just, I wanted to be out of routine. I wanted to, um, I just wanted something different. So I decided I would turn on the camera and just kind of film my uh, little bit of my creative process. So last night I left off with this, this here. Now these, the I, I'm trying to cover my creative journal. I've just been using my morning pages just because I haven't gotten this cover done and I've I've really been missing having my, doing my creative journal, journaling every day. And that's what I'm working to get back at. So these, these three uh, pieces are collage pieces that I uh, cut out of a American Quilting magazine. It's a cafe facet. Uh, it was an article about him. I love his prints. This is from Karen Ruan. I will leave her link in the bio. Her work is absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see that. What she does with paper and uh, thread, you, you just you have to check her out. So I printed off her uh, one of her pictures from Instagram and decided to kind of use it as a backdrop as my print. And this was another cafe facet, facet. I don't know how you say his last name. And then I also found another picture that I uh, pulled pulled off the internet. And I pulled some washi tapes. And I just thought I would kind of, kind of see what I came up with. Last night I got stuck because I couldn't find my glue stick. So, and last night I was working on putting together my new fall setup uh, and I, I ordered some DIY fish uh, inserts and I'm putting that together so I'll do a flip of that later. My, my problem is I've got to get this studio cleaned up because I don't even want to come in here because it's such a mess. The whole studio looks just like this here. So maybe I will just chat with you while I work on this today. Since I did find my glue gun and my glue stick so, today I just, I woke up and I, I just decided I, I want to be out of routine. I don't want to get up and go make my breakfast and have my tea and my Bible study in my morning room. Maybe it's because I have the house to myself. My, my son is here now, which I'm so thankful he's here because he's moving his family here from Las Vegas and he's come ahead of them to get his business going. But it's just unusual for me now to have the house to myself. Usually one of the boys are here, him or Kenny Roy. So I decided, you know what, today I'm just going to have a creative day. I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, just put a bunch of to-do lists on my back and tell myself I have to do this. I, I'm just going to go in my studio, turn on the camera. I'm going to play for a little bit. Then after that, I will... Uh, turn on a sermon and I'm going to start working on a junk, a traveler's junk journal insert for my girlfriend whose birthday is today. Happy birthday, Jeanette, if you're watching. I wanted to do something kind of special for her birthday. I've kind of gotten where I'm always late uh, getting my birthday gifts to my girlfriends, but what I do is usually on the day of their birthday is when I create for them. And I'm thinking about them and I'll text them and I'll, I'll write them a letter and I think about them on their birthday and then later they get their birthday gifts. So I'm not the norm. As anybody who knows me knows only too well. Now I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a big collager. This, this is really, this is really something different for me. So I, I'm going to see how I, how I like that. So I love this little dress. I love the heels and everything. It just kind of reminded me of old time. But I don't know. I like that right there. So maybe I'll start working on the back. This Now this picture, I decided to cut up. Find my scissors here. And kind of just maybe do it in sections. So I don't know if you guys like process videos of how people to see how people actually think and work but I, I sure enjoy them so I thought you know I'll just 
try doing that. I was gonna watercolor this this piece, but you know, I, I like that. Wow, I like that just like that. And I'll leave the link for this lady's Instagram too. It's El Scrumptico or something like that, but I, I'll leave the link for her in there too. So yeah, and then I, might, I might just fill in with, this is another picture from Karen. Let's see here. And then I had this piece that I cut out from Cafe. Calf, maybe it's, maybe it goes by calf, I'm not sure. I, I I was watching Allie Brown's video on uh, package t uh, taping her her journals, and I've kind of I've never done that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long how if it's archival. Maybe some of you guys can let me know in the comments if you've done it. If <laughs> none of us are probably old enough to know if it's going to be archival or not, but I. I think it, I think it would protect it. Even doing this collage work here, I think it would help it a lot. So I don't know. I got to figure out how to get this piece in here. Oh, I just I can't cover up any of Karen's work. So let's do let's start let's do this back here. I hope I'm in frame here. I, I too wanted this morning, I, I wanted to film several videos today and I filmed one yesterday uh, from a re request on Facebook on the scripture writing challenge. Someone requested a video on how I did my page and so I filmed that all yesterday sitting by the in the morning room where the sun is so bright thinking it was going to turn out great and it did not. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'm going to go, I'm just going to go work in my studio. I changed out the light bulbs. My son went with me to Home Depot to get daylight bulbs. He said that that would help. So I did that. I think I'm going to do the washi tape here. So I would like to know what you guys think of collage. Do you guys do collage work? Um, is, it, is it part of your process? Any tips you might have for me? I... I uh, this is probably my favorite washi tape. I can't believe what this will do for any any color of page that I'm painting or whatnot. Just putting a little bit of this on I, I, and what it does for it. You know, I like that like that. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. I really enjoy watching people's process. The creative process is... Oh, it's one that just has fascinated me all my life in, in discovering how creative minds work. And I think I'm not the only one because there's several books out on it. Probably my favorite book on the creative process is uh, a well-known one, which is Julia Cameron's The Artist Way. If any of you haven't read that and you're, you're just starting out in your creative work or whatnot, I highly recommend you to get it. Okay, so that's, I like that. I probably should have put some glue underneath this. But I'm seriously thinking of packing taping all of this, so to help it. For longevity. Need some more there, yeah. I am just not a glue stick person. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit how I start my creative process in the morning is I usually get onto Instagram. I have my The Scrappy Apple Yard uh, account and I have a personal account, but on my Scrappy Apple Yard one, I've, I've just kind of uh, subscribed to followers who are artists and creators Okay, so I'm kind of liking that. I don't know. I may do more to it. But for now, I think that's good. Oh, we never got this little piece in. Well, I have more. I definitely have more journals to, to make. So I might even do a second one with this. I love Karen, what she did with her, her notebook cover here. So.
so. And I have my tea this morning. This morning I'm drinking hazelnut cream by Am Amity. And I thought I'd just clear away my stuff and kind of show you what I'm working on. Uh, this is an A6 Cheek Sparrow Pemberley in Castle Rock that I purchased on the secondhand TN site. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or keep it or not. I'm I was kind of thinking of for fall switching over into this, but I just haven't finished my pages. I'll never make these booklets as big as I did here because I, I didn't dream that my book was going to get this big. I've added some more booklets. Uh, so I don't know. I might just take out these big ones and put them in here and see how that works. I, I'm just, as all you know, we just continue to work on our process and come up with the perfect plan and then we realize we're never going to find the perfect plan. Now this is something I also did this week. For my morning pages I made a cover. I took some fibers and sewed it on and I love that and I even love the scratchiness of that and left it and then I made them longer so that I could use them for bookmarks which I thought was kind of cool. Then I just watercolored this page. This was a piece of uh, vellum that I bought at Hobby Lobby I think this week and I kind of just did it as a I, I glued that and then I just did it as a holder to hold my place of where I'm at. And then I've been doing all my journaling in my morning pages and I haven't I, I haven't been doing creative journaling and I am so missing it. So here again, that's why I'm I'm making these covers this morning. In fact, I may put this one in here. I like the looks of that with that hot pink. I don't I, I've got to do something to protect that though. I don't think it's gonna hold up too well. So this is this is my uh, little journaling everyday carry that I'm taking with me now that my Pelodori is so jam-packed full and I'm going to this new size and I'm really really liking this size but this thing is packed and I, I, I do have a few pages in my book journal which I'll probably just keep this here and, and finish that and then I have more pages in my quilt memoir so this is this is this is the one I used to carry everywhere with me, but I'm kind of um, archiving it here just by my my desk and whenever I want to work in my book journal or my quilting memoirs, I have it here. But it's this is replacing this one now, so I'm trying to get it all set up. This just for my journal, my journaling, my creative journaling, my morning pages, and I think I'm going to put an inspiration book in there too and really start working on my collage work. So, and then last night I made myself go sit down and pull out pages from a magazine. I haven't done this in so long, and I've got piles of pages like this. Uh, but I'm going to start really trying to get into collage, doing more collage work. And then I was using these papers. I wanted a kind of a fall theme for my new DIY fish fall setup. Now this is my, this I, this I had named my Lemon Drop Joy. I don't know if you can see that. This is from Cheek Sparrow. I love this and I, I haven't used it yet. I'm, I'm just putting it together. I, I bought the version 2.2B of DIY fish inserts. I've never tried them before. But starting September 1st, I'm I'm getting serious about my writing project. I've taken it on. Yeah, I'm determined to get it done by the end of December. So I, I'm not sure the first draft, I should say. Uh, I, I may set this just up for my writing to schedule that whole project, or I'm going to use this from all my planning to schedule all my projects and set up another book just for my projects. And then when, when I start working in this and get it all set up, I'll, I'll do a flip. And then this little journal here is has it, it ended up turning into my my YouTube planner. So I, I have different series I want to do, and I've got, I've gone in and I've been making tabs for that. And then I keep a book back here for kind of YouTube ideas that I just get. And I I love this little thing. I work in this every day. So these are my scraps left over from last night for that. This is a little book that I put together for a long time ago for a black creme brulee. 
that I ended up giving to my son-in-law for his birthday because he's he's wanting to write a movie script. So I told him about how he needed to do it in Traveler's Notebook. And then the other thing I've been working on this week, I was watching uh, Dee Dee Willingham's Society of Idea Collectors. Now this is a, my take on it. I have been, I have so been needing something to collect my ideas and all the little TNs that I work in, they've just been, never been big enough for me to just stretch out in and just have a place to map everything out that's going on in my brain. So this is what I came up with. I went and bought me uh, uh, this, this book from, I believe it was Office Max. And then I bought some really uh, nice paper. I, I love working on buttery paper. I don't like copy pa copier paper. And then I just bought some cheap um, notebook paper. And then each morning, I'm just kind of, as I'm doing my Bible study and I'm working, I'm, uh, may, I'm writing down the inspiration that I came across today, maybe on YouTube channels and things that's going on in my mind. And then on these pages, I'm kind of writing out what I need to do to enact those. So I am really, really liking this this so far. So I'm, I'm going to continue on with that. So that's just kind of what's going on with John Lee this morning. I so enjoy talking to you guys and getting to know you in the comments. I, again, thank you for subscribing. And I will be filming more videos today. I'm, I'm going to finish doing some creative work here. And then I'll go for my swim and... Today I've decided to have an artist date, so I'm going to go to an antique store, and I really want to go see that movie, The Saints. If any of you seen it, please let me know what you think of it in the comments and if it's worth going to. It looks like it is from the trailer. And like I say, I'm going to work on this journal for, my, for one of my besties. So you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.